Hello everyone, we're OpsWat. Being a leader in cybersecurity, we can't stress enough the importance of preventative information security rather than reactive. In this short video, we'll be discussing OpsWat's MetaDefender ICAP server. Okay, thanks, Laura. And for the demo portion, we're going to see what both a user and an administrator see when the user attempts to download both a clean and malicious file via the web proxy, which is protected by MetaDefender ICAP server. So when I click on this, I am presented with a message telling me that my file was blocked. And this file was blocked by my policy, and the reason is is that this file was infected with malware. So it was prevented from downloading this file to my browser. Now let's take a look at when a user is able to download a clean file via the web proxy as well. So for this purpose, we're going to use the MetaDefender ICAP server datasheet as our clean test file. So when I click on the data sheet, you can see that the MetaDefender ICAP server scans this file and this file is deemed clean, so it is allowed to download to my browser. Now let's take a look at what the administrator sees when the user was attempting these transactions. And we can see that there were threats detected and threats prevented. So let's take a look at the processing history for when the user attempted to download this file. So we can see that the icar.zip file was blocked, and the reason it was blocked is that the file was deemed to be malicious. And we can see various pieces of information about this file, including its file type, its size, and hashes of uh, the file as well. So now let's take a look at what the, what the administrator sees when the user downloaded the clean file. We can see that this file was allowed and zero of the nine scanning engines found this file to be malicious. So it was allowed to be downloaded and the user saw it in their browser. So we've been able to see uh, what the user sees when they download clean and malicious files and also what the administrator sees when the user is downloading those files as well. Thank you for joining us. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to Michael Wheeler or I.